Okay, okay, so um, I have tried to make this video a million and one times. I never know what to say. Um, things, I always get like tongue tied and things always happen. Like right now, these guys just came and like kind of, they didn't interrupt on purpose, but they interrupted. And yeah, so, um, hi, I made a list. Um, uh, the main questions that I have, it's regarding <laughs> um, psychology and astrology and the correlation, um, the whole, you know, law of attraction, manifesting, that stuff, um, the whole like spiritual community and like occult community, things like that. And then, um, is anyone alive? And when I say, is anyone alive? Uh, I don't know. So, um, when I say, is anyone alive? This is what I mean. I've encountered people on this earth that have been complete assholes, <laughs> like the worst people in the world. And you begin to think like, wow, you're like, I don't know. So I don't feel like they're human. You know, I don't feel like they're real. Because I just don't understand how no one, or not no one, but I guess I just, uh, does anyone actually like see things anymore? Like, does anyone feel, you know, can anyone, um, like right now, um, um, and there's like the birds and stuff, you know, and there's just different sounds out here, but it sounds amazing. And this is real, right? I mean, I think I've gone down <laughs> one too many rabbit holes. Uh, <laughs> I only laugh because, um, I mean, okay, if this is not real, right? This experience that we're living right now, like our lives, um, if, if it's not real meaning, like it's like a hologram or something, then why do things mean so much and matter so much and feel a certain way? To me at least. What if you feel like you've come to an understanding of where change is inevitable, right? But it's like, are you allowed any stability in the change? Like, or do you just completely like, what do they say? Like raw dog it, right? Like, oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> there are just so many things that don't sound right to me and that don't make sense. And it's hard because I feel like I'm crazy and I know that I'm not. Um, I don't even know where that was going, but I guess I wanted to start with, is anyone alive? Um, because I feel like a lot of people aren't. And it's so nice out here. It's, oh, it's so nice. I love being outside. Um, yeah. But I feel like people aren't alive and it's like, what the heck is going on? It's really confusing. It's really confusing. Um, C, 
see, so what I'm, what I'm um, having trouble with is basically deciphering or filtering out what's my pain and what's other people's pain, you know? Um, because I can feel a lot. Um, it's, it's like, <sighs> I feel things physically so I can, um, I can physically feel things that don't, that don't exist and that aren't there. So I can feel people's happiness, people's excitement. Um, I can feel people's pain. Yeah. And I'm still figuring out what to do with all that. Um, Because it seems like... (laughs) It seems like... It's like... Like... Life is brutal. Like, oh my god, it's brutal right now. I quit my job. Um, I have nothing lined up. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I know that I don't want to go back to working. I don't want to work anymore at all. Um... I want to just exist and live like a bumblebee or like the birds that are chirping. Or like the worms in the ground that are making magic for the roots and the trees. I want to be one with nature because it's what feels right. The human experience is very messy. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I go on tangents a lot. I go all over the place. I don't know, okay, well, I mean, I'm, uh, what I'm able to do is I'm able to take, like, ideas and concepts or just things in general, and I can, like, I don't know, I can, uh, I can make things out of nothing. And then it's like regurg- regurgitating it is <laughs> the hard part. That's why it's like, I made a list, but I don't even like this list. Mm. It's like, and I guess it's integrating, right? like things are so complicated sometimes and I'm just so like lost um yeah and then you kind of feel like you want to wing it but then even that you're just like oh I don't know man I don't know 
because I feel things because I have fear like other humans you're a divine being experiencing a human experience does anybody else just feel like if that's the case then like why can't things be different Like, why can't things feel different? Why does everything just feel so miserable now? Like, even social media. Ugh, ugh. It's like exhausting. It's exhausting watching TikToks. I don't want to be on social media, but I have to be. Because you have to play the game. If you're going to survive, you need money. And you got to do things to get money. not a very good world it's really sad hmm oh my gosh there's a cute little squirrel over there hi friend yeah so okay I am basically just going to wrap it up with this um i would love to just get in touch with people that are real um people that have feelings people that actually care about things besides themselves um i guess people that just somehow maintain their humanity through all of this i mean we're human right regardless of whether we're divine or not we're in this physical body at least you whoever is watching you understand that we're still in these physical bodies regardless of where we go when we sleep so we got to deal with the outside world that's directly in contact with our bodies Ugh. Meaning you have to figure out how to make the mushy inside feel good. But you have to use the outside. Your avatar. Ugh, it's exhausting. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to be doing tarot videos soon. Once I can find a place to actually be able to do them, um, I do want to start doing that. But I also want to make sure that I'm in a good mind space, so I just need a little bit more time for that. Um, but also, I want to start a book club. So, well, I mean, I'm going to have a book club on my channel as well because I like reading. And the first book we're going to be reading is The Ichabog by um, J.K. Rowling. Rowling, however you pronounce it. Don't hate me if I pronounce it wrong. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I guess that was a really weird introduction. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's just so much I could talk about, but I feel like it would be like an hour long thingy. And you know what? Fuck it. I have time, right? If I could be honest, I've always had this like itch um, of what I wanted to do. And I knew deep down that I had this like, I just had this knowing 
of what I needed, especially as a kid when I was younger, because of how I grew up. That's what, well, I'm not even gonna go there because I don't know who's gonna watch this. <laughs> so I'm not trying to have family like message me and ah. Uh, okay, God. So I've always had this idea of what I wanted and. Um, I just knew things. I knew, I always had a pretty good idea of who I was, what I wanted. I always knew that I loved cute things. I've always knew that um, I've just always been a, a nice person in general. Um, I just had a good understanding of who I was and how I operated and how I worked. Um, you know, I like to keep to myself, but I also like people in moderation because I've always been sensitive to people. Um, see, I'm, I've always been aware, aware of that. And so, um, yeah. And, um, now, with that being said, that's a black Phoebe. Me and my mom, when we go on our walks and stuff, like other people do, because this is normal. We um, learn about the plants and like the birds and um, whatever is around, like what, what type of mushroom it may be, things like that. It's pretty, pretty cool. So um, yeah, I got into that stuff. And then I also got into, oh, I'm running out of water and I need water. I, Mm. drink your water it's good for you i love water it's amazing like oh, water is so healing um talk to water you know play with it bathe in it um speak love into it and it'll like cover you in that love anyways okay now that got me into like everything else right and it's just like but wait because there are just some things that don't feel right to me like i'm having a hard time with <clears throat> the law of attraction and manifestation because i'm trying to align myself with what feels good to me right so for me like I'm thinking because on the inside, I have a good idea of what's going on, but it's my external that is directly impacting the internal, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. So, my idea is to change, right? The external, but there's conditions. Oh, now there's two squirrels. There's conditions, you know, you gotta have money. You gotta have means. You know, you need, you gotta have at least basic, your basic needs, right? Food, shelter, and water. And the fact that it's even hard to do that is not okay. And that's my complaint about the way that this world works. That's not, that's not okay. Poverty is not okay. My mom grew up, um, we grew up, me and my sisters, in uh, listening to Tupac. <laughs> my mom <laughs> said that that was our dad. <laughs> she had us convinced that, that was our dad <laughs> for a good amount of time. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Tupac, oh, man, he he's like one of those people, I feel like, that I would love to just have, like, a million one conversations with. I like to talk to people. I like to talk to people that are alive about the things that they like or about the things that make them sad. I basically like to get, I like to talk to people to get an understanding of their experience. But also, I learn lessons from their experiences. I'm just watching the squirrels eat. Um, oh my god, they have, there, there's this dog that looks like a Resident Evil dog, like, okay, unpopular opinion, but I feel like I'm kind of unpopular to begin with right now because of the, the status of my friendships. <laughs> if any of you are watching this. I'm just kidding. I'm totally just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's such a beautiful bird. 
I'm so tempted to turn around the camera. I won't. My impulsiveness is getting the best of me. Okay, so. Yeah. I feel like this is kind of like me rambling. Maybe I should make a more organized list. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should make a more organized list. I better not be getting bit by fucking mosquitoes. I'll be so bummed out if I get bit by mosquitoes. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. I feel like I'm gonna get bit up by mosquitoes. And I didn't, uh, I don't have my car. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like real people are nice. And they're honest. And I feel like people need to spend more time hugging and loving each other. But yeah, I think this is good right here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so well, I'm going to start reading the Ichabog soon, and I'm going to be doing tarot videos as soon as I can get a place, like a quiet place. <laughs> no relation to the movie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to, like, post this. But... If I want to find people that are the right people for me, then I have to be myself. And this is me being myself. So, yeah. And I don't like... Oh, no. I think I just saw a mosquito. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, we gotta go. They like my blood for some reason. I don't know why. So it's hard. I just feel like my message isn't going to be received. It might, this whole video was basically you getting to know me, right? But at the same time, it was you. <laughs> I don't know. It was you seeing and hearing me for what I really am. Because I feel like not a lot of people do. It sucks. Not a lot of people have good intentions. And that sucks. Like, it freaking sucks. It's like, why? Why does there always have to be an agenda? You know? There always has to be an agenda. It's like, why can't people just, like, <laughs> chill? <sighs> oh, it baffles me. Why can't people share? And why can't people just chill out, man? Jesus. Like, uh... There's just so much, like, like angst and, like, pain and aggression going around. And it's like, oh, like, it's heavy. It's so heavy. It feels heavy to me because I can feel that stuff, right? It's like, no. I mean, who wants to live and exist like that in that type of environment? No one does. No one does. Oh my god, no one does. Everyone likes, you know, just peace and quiet. I mean, you hear it, like, you, you, we, everybody's been preaching it from the dawn of time. <laughs> oh, there was a mosquito on me. You know, those little suckers are silent when they get you. Um, peace, right? Peace, peace, peace and love. That's like, yeah, it's like, well, where the is it, man? I don't know sucks because I can I see what what it could be and it's just not that um which kind of ties me into like why I'm even doing this oh yeah oh yeah oh, yeah yeah expression and creativity and all that good stuff like what what you know what artists do and by artists I mean like the physical ones that paint that draw that create um 
beautiful canvases, musicians, poets, um, dancers, gamblers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, Gazi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I know it can't be me, but like, have you guys watched them like shuffle those cards? There's like a, a science to it, you know? It's like meticulous and stuff. Like, like, like when I watch some tarot readings on YouTube, it's like some of the, some of the girls. Okay, mind you, I'm not smooth at all, so that's something you're gonna get. Ah, I'm not smooth at all. I got small hands. Like my hand is as big as my face, so. And those cards are huge, you know? Some of them are like long, like, this card isn't too bad. What is it? Ooh, it's the Eight of Pentacles. She works hard for the money. But anyways, yeah, see, it's like almost as big as my hand, but yeah, see, this is a pretty big card. Now, some of the girls, they shuffle like amazing. And it's like, wow. I want to shuffle like that. You know, you're like, yeah, girl. Okay. Okay. Totally got side. Okay. So at the casino, right? They're really meticulous and they do like the little tapping on the side and like I watch them. And sometimes like, well, my brother-in-law told me like, don't focus like that. And I'm like, okay, my bad. Because I guess you can count cards. I, there's no way in hell I can count cards, but apparently that's a thing. Um... But yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to stop this here. Actually, I think I'll end it with like a slow-mo of the park where I'm at. <laughs> I'm like not very good with technology. The guys were like smiling as they were walking by. And it's like, don't smile at me. Okay. Oh my god, the camera's crooked.